my channel. My name is Katiana, but you can call me Kat for short. That's my nickname. That's like what everyone knows me by. So you guys are my friends now, so you can call me Kat. Uh, so anyways, today's video is going to be on my tattoo experience and just any advice or tips, things you should be aware of if you are considering getting a tattoo. Okay, so let's just get right into it. So I got my tattoo last year in January 2017 there was a tattoo expo in Washington DC and my older brother was getting one and he was like you know you should come with me and you should like think about getting a tattoo because if you plan on getting that tattoo this is like the perfect time there's like nowhere else you can get it because it was like you know different tattoo tattoo artists from all over the world the best of the best so he's like you know you can come and like his tattoo guy was there and he was like yeah like he can get he can hook you up give you a discount whatever whatever so I was okay so this was such a funny story because before this even happened like maybe like six years ago um my brother got his first tattoo and it was just really upsetting to me because I did not like tattoos I did not believe in tattoos and the big thing is like in our religion which is seven day adventist christians we don't we're not supposed to like ink our bodies we're not supposed to mark it with like anything so him getting a tattoo was like a big deal um i was really worried for, like what my dad was gonna say because he's so strict so strict and i just didn't want like tensions to arise and you know anyone to be upset at anyone and I just really, I just want him to do the right thing. I just thought it was wrong. I thought he would go to hell. Like, oh my gosh, you're sinning. So I was, like, really upset. So he was like, yeah, like, I want to get this tattoo, and I'm going to get this tattoo. Like, you know, my brother is the type of person, where if, like, he, if he has his mind set on something, he's going to do it. And you cannot tell him nothing, nothing at all. Show him evidence and nothing. <laughs> So, um, yeah, he was just really set on this tattoo, and I was just like, please, please, like, don't get it. Like, if you love me, don't get it. Like, I was just really upset. Um, so I remember he came home, and he was like, I didn't get the tattoo because of you or something. And I was like, oh my gosh, really? Like, I was so happy. I was jumping. I'm like, oh, thank you, da, da, da. And then he was like, I'm just joking. <laughs> I was just like, I was just like, oh my gosh. And he showed me the tattoo. I'll, got, I'll show you guys a picture. He showed the tattoo to me and I just started crying. Like, I was crying. And I was just like, oh my gosh, like you lied to me. Da, 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 da. I was so dramatic back then. So then, yeah. So I was like against tattoos because, you know, it's against my religion. And also, like, I didn't like needles. Like, I hated needles. I was terrified of needles. There's, I can't even tell you how many times, like, when I went to the doctor <laughs> and they were like, you know, you need to get blood work. You need to go to LabCorp. You need to go to LabCorp. And the paper, the prescription they would give me, I would just, like, toss it. Like, I'm like, I ain't going to no, no, <laughs> no lab so they can impale me with a needle. I was, like, the type of person, like, if I get sick, if something happens, like, I don't care. Like, I was crazy, guys. Like, what? Yeah. <laughs> So I was like, tattoos, you and me? Nah, nope. But what, you know, turned me around was in 2016, it was September 2016, you know, my mom passed away. Um, and she had breast cancer for 11 years. So when I, ever since I was eight years old, and you know she passed away so this would be a meaningful reason you know it's for my mom da, 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 you know representing her and like her fight her struggle her battle and so I was like okay I was like more open to it because I actually had a reason now so I was like yeah like I'll get a tattoo of my mom or for my mom by my mom so you know I went to the tattoo expo with my brother and it was finally my turn and I was so mad that day because we got there at like 2 p.m. and tell me how we left at like 11 they started doing my tattoo at maybe like maybe like 9 30 like super super late 
I was really upset because they were like, oh yeah, you're going to be next, you're going to be next. This dude was taking on different people, different customers, and I'm like, hello, like, we've been here, like, what the hell? Like, I was getting so upset. So, just because of that, I was like, I'm not getting this anymore, like, I'm not getting it. Because they just kept telling us, like, different stuff, like, you're next, da, da, da. like, I was just so mad, I was so mad. And my brother's tattoo, he got one, and it took him maybe, like, three hours or something, so... I was just full of that. I'm like, okay, like, I'm not getting this done. Like, these people are playing games. Like, no. I already is, like, unsure about this tattoo thing. And now they're, like, playing games. So I was like, oh, no. But, you know, I was like, okay, this is, like, a once-in-a-lifetime chance. Like, if I'm going to get a tattoo, it's going to be, you know, with my brother or something. Someone. And, like, have experience or whatever. So I was like, this is a once-in-a-lifetime chance. Like, I'm already here. In here just for this. So I was like, okay, whatever. So... You know I sat down and I got the tattoo and I got it on my back I guess like on my spine I will insert a picture so you guys can see it chair and you know when that needle pierced my skin oh my gosh yeah when they say it's like the worst pain it probably like next to giving birth I don't know what it's like to give birth but that's what I hear I I believe it like that that pain was serious if you have a high pain tolerance then it probably you probably won't have a problem but if you have a low pain tolerance like me then um, you'll have a hard time but it does get better like within like 10 minutes your body is like numb and you don't even feel it it feels kind of like good <laughs> as, as weird as it sounds it feels good so yeah got it like I felt it in a different way I've never like experienced substantial pain in my life before like I never broke any bones in my body I never like had my tonsils removed well I did but I don't remember nothing that I can recall I've never been in like a substantial amount of pain and for once in my life I just wanted to feel I guess feel pain get a tattoo because that was kind of like the closest thing of like pain to experience to see what my mom have has gone through and you know to feel lousy and in pain every day and every day you know I like watched her you know you know say oh like I'm hurting I'm this and that I'm uncomfortable and I couldn't do anything about it just like broke me it killed me so like getting this tattoo was very therapeutic like when I was getting it, I started crying, not because of the pain, but because it's like, damn, like, this is what my mom went through, and she fought every day, every day for her life for t 11 years, like, I can't even imagine, so I was sitting there crying, because I couldn't believe, like, yeah, it's like a different kind of pain, but it's still pain, like, you're uncomfortable, you're feeling lousy, you're feeling down, like, I can't even believe, like, this is what semi what she what it felt like to be in her you know position I was able I felt like I was able to like connect with her and understood like I was in her shoes seeing what she was going through so that's why I got it um so yeah like the pain was really bad in the beginning but then it gets better towards like the end like within 10 minutes like you don't even feel anything they wrapped it up in saran wrap for me and I bought this cream I don't have it but um, I can link it if anyone is interested I got the cream I just wrapped it on every day it did start to scab a little bit but I think that was just because it was like irritated you know it's not like on my arm or like on my thigh or my leg it's like on my bone so I guess like that's why I started to like scab a little bit but the scabs did go away it gets so itchy you guys like so itchy but you you know absolutely have to refuse from scratching because you can ruin your ta tattoo um yeah just put the lotion on it like every 24 7 like it gets dry super super fast so you need to make sure it's hydrated all the time just like your hair or like your skin like you need to put the lotion on it every day take it to work school everywhere with you because it's going to crack and get on. Do your research and I would say like yes, they're a little pricey, but just like anything you purchase most of the time, like things that are priced higher is because of the quality versus something that's priced lower. It's probably not going to look well. It's not going to look good or it's not going to like last. You know, be aware that you're going to spend 
but it's the quality is what you get out of it so don't say oh my gosh it's so much money it's like anything like you want that good brazilian hair like you're gonna have to <laughs> spend that money you want good thick you know quality clothes you're gonna have to spend that money so that's the same thing for tattoos don't go to like a sketchy cheap place just because it's cheap because the work is probably not top notch so my tattoo was pricey as you can imagine and it was like at a freaking convention so that's even more money but I had it done by a girl because that dude was like I said was playing games so I had it done by a girl and she said $450 and I was just like <laughs> did not have no hundred I did not have four hundred and fifty dollars I only had four hundred dollars so we were just like um can you do four hundred and she was just like yeah and so yeah it was four hundred dollars and but I don't think it should have been four hundred dollars but you know but you know whatever I don't know about anyone else but when I got the tattoo I kind of got addicted to having more tattoos done because after I got it done, I was like, oh, that wasn't so bad. Like, I can do this again. So I'm kind of, like, addicted to them now. Not addicted, but, like, I want more. I won't get one anytime soon just because, like, I they're expensive. And then I don't have a meaningful reason to get a tattoo. You know, if you want to get a tattoo, you should have a reason. But if you don't have a reason, you just want to get it because it looks cool or cute, then who am I to say, oh, you shouldn't get one. But whatever do you whatever makes you happy you have the money you want to get a tattoo get a tattoo and then um i hid it for my dad <laughs> as you can imagine because he's a very conservative strict seven day adventist and um like i said it's against our religion so it was it was interesting keeping it from him i hid it for him for like eight months or something or something like that i don't remember and he found out so if you guys want a story time on that just leave a comment down below and i will do that for you guys if you want to hear about it <clears throat> to his reaction and everything um and how like the rest of my church reacted to it so just comment down below and i will do that if you guys want to see it um and uh i think that's everything that i have to say i think that's everything that i have to say so yeah just do your research find a tattoo that's meaningful to you or not and you know save up for that money because you should go to a place that is all about quality you know they're probably super detailed your like tattoo will be phenomenal like i am obsessed with my tattoo it's everything that i will like it's more than i imagined because when i was thinking about like what it would be how i wanted it to look i was thinking of some basic stuff but this girl hooked me up so yeah <laughs> that's everything in this video so you know on my channel i hope to bring you guys the best content i want to do fashion videos look books hauls you know collections advice videos health lifestyle like everything just dabble in everything this is all for you so you guys can leave your comments what you want me to do and i'll bring it out to you so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you next time bye